how to motion track text or 3D text to a scene like this, for example. Um, now over here, you can see this scene from Jujutsu Kaisen. Normally the clip is like eight seconds long, as you can see over here. So I've already time remitted, so it's about three seconds now, like this. Yeah, let's get started. So if you have Twixer or whatever on your clip and you have time remitted like I just did, then you first wanna pre-compose this clip again because you cannot uh, track the camera uh, if you have timer mapping on. So now you don't have any timer mapping on this exact comp. So you can search for camera and add the 3D camera tracker to your scene. Now on the left over here, it's now analyzing or initializing your clip. This depends on how many frames or how long your clip is, but it's already done. So over here, you can see a couple different like crosses or pluses or whatever it is actually is. You can see this, this red circle. Now this is uh, sort of like the angle your text is going to end up. So if you do it over here, it's going to go against the wall. As you can see over here, it's just going to be like straight into your face as if the camera is flying through it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to click on it on this. I've now selected these three icons. I'm going to right click, create text and camera. So now we have the text and the text is over here, which is not really what we want, right? So what you can do is press I on your keyboard or go, or go to this anchor point tool. You can change the anchor point to the middle. Once you've changed this, you want to click off of your clip, then click on it again and press P on your keyboard. You can now reset the text. You also want to go to R. So the rotation and then reset this as well. So it's not like a weird angle. So then now that it's like this, you want to change the Z position a little. The Z position is kind of like how far it actually is away. Because if you look in real life, then when something is really far away, it will move slower than something that is closer to you, right? So that's kind of the Z position. So I think I'm just going to change it like this. And then I'm going to make the text a bit smaller. So it's more like this so now it's tracked pretty nicely into this scene and that's actually already it, everything there is to it so now to make 3d text you want to go ahead and make a solid layer with Control and y press ok search for element and drag that on top of here now i've already made a 3d text tutorial with all the animation and stuff so uh, I'm not going to show it again because then this tutorial will take a long time. So you can now click on the top right to learn how to do that. And then just come back to this tutorial and see what else you got to do. Now, once you've set up your uh, text, the text is actually really big. Now, to actually change that, you want to go to group one particle replicator and you want to kind of just copy this Z position um, over here and put that over there. Now it's on the exact same position. You can now disable the plain text. And now you have your 3D text. And then I'm just gonna do like some animation. I also did in that tutorial. So I'm just gonna kind of just speed through this. Now I think the text is a little bit like too big for this scene. So what I'm gonna do is actually do something really simple. I'm just gonna go to the scene setup again and simply change this. Yeah, click on this, go to yeah this icon right there. And here you have the skills. I'm just gonna change that a bit to maybe 63 or something. Then it's already a little smaller as you can see. So now it's more clear to read what the text actually says. So, and obviously, it currently says text, but if you want to change it, you can just go ahead, uh, put it onto here, change it to, for example, Koki, uh, my name, and then uh, drag this under here, and it's already changed. So that's quite nice. I hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.